This is five things I wish I knew earlier about mountain biking. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is John, if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're a mountain biker in one way or another. There are a lot of things that I wish I knew before getting involved in this sport, but for the sake of time, I'll dumb it down to five. Number one, it costs a ton of money. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. This isn't a cheap sport. Bikes are expensive, especially now with the current market. You have to have a pretty good budget to get something that's going to perform good, but also not fall apart. Even after you buy a bike, you're going to want to upgrade it to suit your riding style. Upgrades are also expensive. My tires cost around $95 a piece, and I usually blow one out every single time I ride the downhill park. You get what you pay for in this sport. The second thing, there's a lot of climbing. That's, a, that's an obvious one, that's a given. I guess this really depends on what type of biking you do, but you'll find yourself climbing a hill at one point or another. I myself hate climbing. I could sell my trail bikes and ride downhill for the rest of my life and I wouldn't think twice about it. Unfortunately, I don't live close enough to a bike park to make it worth the money for driving. I'm super slow, I drift off the trail and I'm out of shape. I prefer downhill shredding. Get used to climbing. The more you go, the better you will be. Don't worry about being the fastest uphill, just practice and build up your stamina. Once you climb up, you have to come down, which brings me to the third thing I wish I knew. You're going to get hurt, some more than others. I have been doing this for a while, from riding BMX since I was 10 up until present day. I've eaten my fair share of shit. It doesn't take much, a wet rock, a root, even not committing to a feature on the trail. Always commit. Always committing should be a its own thing, pretty much, on this list. The most common crash is going over the handlebars. It's not fun, it hurts, but get used to it. I actually just did it the last time I rode. It happens. If you crash on something, don't give up. Try and figure out what went wrong and where you can improve. Keep trying and you will surpass your fears. The fourth thing on this list, mountain biking is a lifestyle. You're going to eat, sleep, and breathe mountain biking. For breakfast, you're going to be eating honey singer waffles while checking out the pink bike store. You're going to sleep in your gear so you're ready at any second. And when you inhale, You'll even be looking up your next bike the day after you buy your current one. Congratulations, you are now hooked. But in all seriousness, you're going to love this sport. That brings me to my final thing. You'll want more. And 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 more. Anytime you smash a downhill, you're going back to the top and doing it faster. That four foot drop you just hit, Here's a nice eight footer. You just spent $7,500 on a bike. The fork is trash. Better buy a Fox 36 with Kashima, you know, for those sneeze points. But really, we're hardwired to always want more. Don't be afraid to do what you want. If you want a certain type of bike, buy it. Don't let other people tell you what you do or don't need. Those were five things that I wish I knew before getting into mountain biking. If you like what you saw today, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. All clickable links down below in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.